CEE 100, the cost effective equipment, model 100, the photo resist pin coder. The system requires about 25 inches mercury vacuum pump, a gas pump, but this unit could be also connected to a house vacuum if it is available. It needs an exhaust connection to exhaust the vapors and there's a cooling fan under the system to cool the uh, electronics inside, the, C the CPU board, the I.O. boards and the motors. And the system also has a centering arrangement to center the wafer. And there's a nice door to seal the chamber. Precautionary measures are to be taken while operating the system. Uh, protective glasses should be wear. The operator should wear protective glasses. And the control panel includes uh, a small display with keyboard. The reset button resets the system and displays the model number of the unit. The program number, the program button will display the program and 0 to 9 recipes can be programmed in this. And enter is to enter a value. You can change and enter the value or uh, I'm selecting program number 7. And then you enter to advance to the next step in the program. Uh, first step is the velocity, uh, the maximum RPM up to which the chuck should spin. And the second entry is uh, the acceleration value. I have selected 220 rotations per second. And the time, the duration. This is program 7. We can enter different velocities and acceleration values in time, up to three velocities in time. And this is the last step. Once all the programs, are, all the parameters are entered, uh, press run button to and select the program number and press enter to start the recipe and the start button is to start at any point of time if you want to stop the process press the stop button diagnostics is for displaying the system parameters and to check if the vacuum is present or not if there's a wafer on the chart Press one, it will display. Uh, on the display one, if there is a wafer on the chart. So it displays that there's a vacuum on it. The wafer bottom side should be clean, and the check top surface also should be clean because. And the, the vacuum is from the perforation through the screw. So, care should be taken that the chuck top is always clean. And once the system is ready for running, press program 7 and enter. I say start ready, press start to start the process. Now, at this point, it is testing the centering. So, you lower the boom and press zero to retest it. So, 
without touching the wafer edge, we can retest the centering uh, by pressing zero here. Testing center. Okay. And spark. So right now the, the chuck is accelerating to a target rotation speed of 550 rotations per minute. And there is a port here to dispense the photo resist. This unit do not include any dispense attachment. It is only a spin porter, and the porter resist is to be dispensed manually. So that's the end of the first cycle. Now. Placing the vapor and then how to run it again. So, first part is our center. At any point of time, if there's a vacuum error, error message comes up, uh, then the vapor needs to be cleaned and the chuck surface needs to be cleaned. The vacuum level on the pump should be about should be about 25 inches of mercury. The system has a vacuum switch inside, and it is calibrated for. Sensing the vacuum level. Nice. Uh, this is a four inch chuck for the CEE100, similar to the one on the machine. There's a countersunk venter screw at the center. Uh, there's a one millimeter silicone washer that should be inside before uh, the washer seals the vacuum better through the screw to the grid pattern on the chuck.